Now, the ABC 3340 Sports Desk with Johnny Cogden. Doesn't mean you can stop him. Henry breaking free, heading to the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama. 2015 AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. That's the last time both Alabama and Wisconsin squared off on the football field. The Tide won that game 35-17. to They'd go on to win a national championship that season as well. But this time, well, when the Tide and the Badgers meet, it will be inside Camp Randall Stadium, the Madhouse in Madison, one of the loudest venues in all the Big Ten. 80,000 screaming Badger fans going wild for four straight quarters. The famous jump around tradition before the fourth quarter remains one of the best in all the sport. And the Crimson Tide players know, well, they got to be ready for that noise. Just continue to stay composed uh, throughout the game. We know we're going to have some trials and tribulations throughout the game, but just continue to stay calm, stay composed, and just go out there and play. Uh, we're just preparing for it, uh, practice, obviously practicing with crowd noise and just being even more vocal with our teammates, so making sure we're being even louder than we usually are. The UAB Blazers are coming off what many are referring to as one of the worst losses since the program was reinstated a decade ago. The Blazers got their lunch handed to them Saturday, 32-6 on the road to UL Monroe. But head coach Trent Dilfer is confident that these setbacks lead way to big comebacks. Take a listen. I've been asked, like, where does this fit in your losses? I'm like, I mean, it's up there. It's one of the more painful ones. Um, but I also look back at a lot of the most painful setbacks of, of my football career and if handled the right way, there's good things that come out of the other end. I think where they snowball is if you handle them in the wrong manner. And, and my message to the team, message to the coaches, message to myself was let's not forget what matters most in life, and that's relationships. The Auburn Tigers are back at it Saturday night as they'll welcome in New Mexico to Jordan-Hare Stadium. But the bad taste of last week's 21-14 loss to Cal still lingers. Auburn offensive lineman Jeremiah Wright tells us that now, well, the Tigers will play with an even bigger chip on their shoulder. Everybody got a chip on their shoulder. We're ready to go back, especially today, practice hard, go back over our correction, learn from me. You know, everybody kind of disappointed, you know, the outcome, but, you know, it's a lesson learned. You know, adversity came, and now we know how to handle it. Some high school action now, and it was an absolute downpour in the city of Birmingham. Our Chris McCulley braving the elements. Parker taking on Mormon or Jordan, and early on, the Thundering Herd defense came to play. Caleb Smith with the sack of Blaze Neely, and then on offense, head coach Frank Wright's going to dial up the quarterback draw. Timothy Merritt will take it in for six. The Herd take an early 7-0 lead. It's 14-0 now, and Parker will continue to tack on the points. The give to Chancellor Sparks. The junior running back muscles his way through for another thundering herd touchdown. 21 0. Parker rolls at home. They blank Mormon to Jordan by a final of 46 to nothing. To some hoops now, as the SEC men's and women's basketball media days are officially returning to Birmingham, they will once again be hosted by the Grand Bohemian Hotel in Mountain Brook. According to CBS Sports' John Rothstein, the men's day is set for October the 15th. And again, a reminder, don't forget to tune into Blitz Game Day tomorrow at 6.30 on My68. Sports Director Jeff Spiegel gets you ready for a great slate of Friday Night Action, the best high school pregame show in the state. Maybe I'm a little biased. Blitz Game Day, it's tomorrow, <laughs> 6.30 on My68. Muriel? All right, looking forward to that, Johnny.